The Supreme Court, while hearing the issue of funded trial prisoners who continue to be in the custody despite having been granted the benefit of bail, has said that the country's prisons are overburdened by 5,000 people every month merely because of their inability to furnish a bail bond. So, reading this article from Live Law, which says if bail bonds not furnished within one month, trial courts may consider suo moto relaxing conditions. And uh, the top court bench comprising Justice Sanjay uh, was hearing a suo moto red petition that was instituted for the purposes of issuing a comprehensive policy strategy for granting of bail during the hearing. Amicus Curie advocate Gaurav Agarwal while uh, referring to a report submitted by Nalsa stated that there are 5,000 under trial prisoners who have been in jail despite grant of bail out of which 2,357 have been provided legal assistance and now 1,417 persons have been have since been released. This number is only for one and a half month. This number keeps adding on. More people languish. Agarwal further added, one of the main reasons that was flagged by Agarwal as to why accused are in jail despite the grant of bail is that they may be accused in multiple cases and apparently not willing to furnish bail bond until they are given bail in all the cases as under trial custody will be counted in all the cases. The court after hearing the amicus and the suggestions submitted passed seven detailed directions on the issue. One notable guideline is this if the bail bonds are not furnished within one month from the date of grant of bail the concerned court may suo moto take up the case and consider whether the conditions of bail require modification relaxation separate report on other directions so the court which grants bail to an under trial prisoner convict would be required would be required to send a soft copy of the bail order by email to the prisoner through the jail superintendent on the same day or the next day. The jail superintendent would be required to enter the date of grant of bail in the e-prisoner's software, e-prison software or any other software which is being used by the prison department. If the accused is not released within a period of seven days from the date of grant of bail, it would be the duty of the superintendent of jail to inform the secretary DLSA who may depute paralegal volunteer or jail visiting advocate to interact with the prisoner and assist the prisoner in all ways possible for his release. NIC would make attempts to create necessary fields in the e-prison software so that the date of grant of bail and the date of release are entered by the prison department and in case the prisoner is not released within 7 days then an automatic email can be sent to the secretary TLSA. The secretary district level service authority with a view to find out the economic condition of the accused may take help of the provision of officers or the paralegal volunteers to prepare a report on the socio-economic conditions of the inmate which may be placed before the concerned court with a request to relax the condition of bail and surety. In cases where the under trial or convict requests that he can furnish bail bond or sureties once released then in appropriate case the court may consider granting temporary bail for a specified period to the accused so that he can furnish bail bond or sureties. If the bail bonds are not furnished within one month from the date of grant bail, grant of bail, the concerned court may show more to take up the case and consider whether the conditions of bail require modification or relaxation. One of the reasons which delays the release of the accused convict is the insistence upon local surety. It is suggested that in such cases the courts may not impose the conditions of local surety. The above directions are part of the detailed and comprehensive suggestions submitted to court by three amici curie, advocate Gaurav Agarwal, Matthew and Devansh A. Mohata after discussion with additional solicitor General K. M. Natras. The bench also observed in the order that the government of India should discuss Dina with Nalsa 
whether it would give access to the e prison portal on a protected basis to the secretaries of slsa and plsa which would facilitate better follow up with the prison authorities during the last hearing the court had issued detailed guidelines on disposing cases through plea bargaining compounding of offenses and probation of offenders act the court post